hello 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 welcome back to my channel we are back in the car with a starbucks cup and today we're gonna have a little recovery chat and like something i've been struggling with how i'm managing it and yeah i just thought if this could maybe like ways i'm like dealing with this like thing might help someone else and even if it helps one person then that's all we can ask for so the topic we're going to be discussing today is managing recovery and weight gain like going into summer with holidays booked the weather getting warmer and um, just like combating body dysmorphia and how to like manage your triggers with going into summer because this is definitely something i have struggled with this week so without further ado let's get into it i'm gonna get comfy before we get into it so it is currently friday friday the 28th of april now on Monday my mum posed the suggestion to me she's going to Dubai on Tuesday so it's Friday today she's going to Dubai on Tuesday and she was like why don't you just come with me because I finished my I had deadline I have deadlines next week but I got them all like finished I'm an organised queen okay I got them all finished and submitted so I could have an early summer and she was just like why don't you come to Dubai with me and instantly in my head I was like I can't come to Dubai like that's a week and like first reaction was like I don't want to go to Dubai I don't want to be in a bikini like my body image has just been awful like I just don't yeah my like first initial thing was like no like I don't want to go but then I was just like I had like a little conversation in my head and I was like wait a minute that's giving into the eating disorder. The eating disorder wants you to miss out on all these things. And I was like, no, we're not doing that. We're gonna go. So I said to my mom, I was like, yeah, I'll come with you. Which is already like a huge thing for me because for like most people, like if you don't struggle with food, for most people being offered a holiday is like, it would excite them. Like going to the beach, getting in your bikini, like it would make them so excited. But if you struggle with food or have had like an eating disorder, that literally provokes like, anxiety and fear within you so that's kind of how i've been feeling this week i've been feeling a bit down this week and i'm honestly just putting it down to the fact that i'm going on holiday next week which i'm so so grateful to even be given the opportunity to go away on holiday but it's just like that fear of like breaking routine breaking habits and like just like the unknown but that is exactly what we need how are we going to grow if we don't push ourselves out our comfort zone but obviously i'm like really excited to see my sister so i'm just like thinking about that and not thinking about how I'm going to look in my bikini, like who cares how I look, like oh, it's just hard. I think the thing for me, why I struggle is because this is literally what like triggered my eating disorder in the first place was a diet for a holiday. So like it's almost like being told to drive on the other side of the road, like you're so programmed to think like holiday, like my brain is so programmed to think like diet and I'm like no I'm not doing that. And it's like a constant battle like the thoughts have definitely been louder this week but it's like i've not acted on them once so i think that just shows that like it is a constant battle against like going against the eating disorder like yeah it might have been easier to listen to the eating disorder and diet to go to dubai next week but that's just not how we're going to properly like heal so yeah definitely struggled a little bit more this week but it's like can struggle like I'm st I've still I've still gained weight this week like the whole point like eating disorders don't have a look like I maybe struggle mentally just as much now as I did like six months ago but I physically look fine but obviously it is it's so so uncomfortable like eating normally like I've ate out for food twice this week had an Ando's last night and on Saturday night me and my boyfriend went out for a three course meal had like dessert and everything and it does make you feel like really really like guilty but it's like you also feel like I also feel like so proud of myself for like pushing past those thoughts it really does make you want to revert back to old habits but this is where the most progress happens is when you're the most uncomfortable it's like anything in life like if you put in the work you will get the results like if you study and study and study you'll get a good mark if you work on a weakness in the gym you'll get better at that weakness if I continue to like work against go against my eating disorder like the eating disorder voice it's going to get quiet it's like the more you work at something the easier not the easier it's going to become but like the more resilient you become to it so like me six months ago yeah i would have listened to that voice and i probably would have dieted and restricted for this holiday but me now i'm like no i'm not doing that i'm not going back to that dark place i was in like i'm continuing to gain weight because i know that weight loss doesn't serve me and weight gain does serve me and in order to live a happy healthy life i need to continue to gain weight period 
How am I preparing to go to Dubai last minute while in recovery, while on a weight gain journey, you may ask? Because it's been mentally hard. I was like chatting to a few girls in the gym yesterday and honestly just like speaking to someone about how you feel just makes you feel so much better. Like a problem shared is 100% a problem halved. Like I've spoke to my mum, I spoke to a few girls in the gym. Like if you have someone that you can confide in it, honestly, and just like even like speaking out your thoughts almost like makes you realise how like irrational they are. Like when I was speaking out, when I was like, oh, I just feel like shit in my body. And mum was like, yeah, but you're getting to see Steph. Like you're literally going to Dubai. Some people would kill to go to Dubai. And it's almost like you have to be like, oh yeah, like that's true. Like you almost like sometimes need like someone to just like tell you how it is. To kind of just like snap out of it. Because like when the eating disorder voice is that wee bit louder, it can sometimes be a bit harder to like understand your thoughts. Like what's actually my thoughts and what's the eating disorder's thoughts. Do you know what I mean? Another thing that I'm doing is I've already put the pressure on myself, I'm going to take no bikini photos. I think that really, really helps me just to take the pressure off. Just like, I'm not going to post bikini photos, I'm not going to take like bikini selfies. Because I know that would probably trigger right now, I would see a completely different thing in the mirror than what I actually look like. Like, some people may, like I might have somebody's dream body, but in my head I would see myself as being too big. So I just don't want to pick myself apart and I'm going to make this holiday nothing about my body. So I'm just going to remove that trigger, going to have like no bikini photos and I'm just going to try and be present and like join in in the moment and yeah. So that's the first thing. That's So that's my first two things is one, speak about how I feel. Number two, take the pressure off like me being in a bikini. Number three, another thing for me is wearing clothes that I'm comfortable in over clothes that maybe trigger me like quite often I find because I'm like constantly just in gym gear when I wear normal clothes I'm a bit like oh like I don't really like it's like hard it's like weird seeing myself in normal clothes because I'm so used to seeing myself in like joggies and like shorts and running leggings and stuff so I always just feel more confident when I'm in like baggy clothes and kind of like experimenting with my style like cargoes wide leg trousers um yeah so definitely packing clothes that I know I'm comfortable in not like tight fitting clothes that are going to make me feel like restricted and like claustrophobic so that's my third tip is wearing comfortable clothes because there's nothing worse than when you're like uncomfortable and you don't feel good about yourself in an outfit and it's just going to make that voice in your head that wee bit louder when your outfit's feeling a bit tight or it's not sitting right or just like these little things that can just like make your mood go a bit down another thing as well is like if you struggle with food or like eating disorder thoughts a lot of that can be down to like habits routine control because a lot of the time like eating disorders are about like it's like a form of like control you could say like a thing that i'm going to be doing is still implementing like i'm getting really flustered in here talking about this i've had the heating on and i feel like i'm going red um it's like implementing like daily habits and like rituals that i would do at home like every day so it's just like it's not completely out of routine so just like wee things I do every morning I'm going to continue to do that in Dubai just to like keep the structure just more for like the mental aspect so the main message here is to not miss out on life due to how you feel about your body like I really feel uncomfortable in my body right now but it's not going to stop me like the eating disorder will want you to isolate yourself to it'll be louder when you feel like this because you're fighting against it and the more you fight against it the more it's going to be like oh she's not listening to me like she's not listening to me so if I continue to push through and continue to gain weight when it's really uncomfortable then that's ultimately how we are going to thrive and live a happy healthy life and have a good holiday in Dubai. So it's all just about like planning wearing what you feel comfortable in and just like also remembering your why that's a big one remembering why you're gaining weight like why you started recovery like what you're doing it for. for me it's all about just like being happy like i don't know i feel like when i was at my lowest i was miserable like so so miserable just think back to that like dark time i would even say and yeah i was in a smaller body was i happy no did i feel good no and i would rather feel good than look good like when you feel good you also like feel good within you kind of radiate this energy like out like when you're i just think like when you put good stuff into your body it like shines on the outside like you will never be happier in a smaller body as much as your brain will try to convince you and i think it's also really hard with it coming into me like i feel like i've definitely been exposed to it more on social media like a lot of people like dieting for holidays and like cutting and stuff 
and having to just kind of like scroll past that and think like oh maybe I should be doing that but it's like no everyone is so different everybody is different everyone's on a different journey we all have different stories we all have different jobs different families so why would we all do the same thing you know what I mean why would we all eat the same thing why would we all exercise the same you could all eat the same and exercise the same and we'd still all look completely different so it's just remembering that like everyone's on like a completely different journey and this is my journey to like food freedom, living a healthy, happy life, having a good holiday. So if you're struggling with summer and like going into summer on like a weight gain journey or like going into summer in recovery, just know that it's gonna be okay. I'm here for you. I salute what you're doing because I think you're amazing for choosing recovery, for gaining weight in a society that demonizes weight gain. Um, but yeah, we can all do it together. I'm gonna continue to eat as normal, exercise as normal, no compensations, no restrictions. And yeah, we're gonna go to Dubai. I will vlog it for you. We could do like full days of eating, training in Dubai, and yeah, it's gonna be fun. There's absolutely nothing to be feared of. Like, at the end of the day, life is short, and if you listen to your eating disorder, you would have no memories to look back on in 20 years. In 20 years, am I going to look back and think I look big in that photo, like I wish I dieted? No. You're going to look back and see how like happy you are, the memories you made, the things you did, and like none of that has to do with your body, like it's all in your head. Probably going to water parks, going to restaurants, going to the mall, doing all these fun things. None of that has to do with my body. Is it my body going to stop me from doing any of that? No. Is my body going to stop me from making memories? No. If I lost weight, would that stop me? probably would stop me from enjoying myself because I would have no energy, my mood would be low. Your body is your body's not the problem, it's your mind. And that's why you have to push through, especially when the voice is loud, because that voice does not serve you. And that voice just wants you sick and ill and unhappy. And that's not what we want, is it? No. Again, like I said, good things take time and nothing worth having comes easy. We love weight gain. Weight gain is hot. Only bad bees gain weight way into summer. Anyways, I'm going to go into town to start my holiday prep, but yeah, I hope you all have a good day. I uh, hope you enjoyed this little video of me opening up about my struggles. Just keeping it real with you guys that recovery is not just this plain sailing journey and that there is it's ups and downs, it's like a roller coaster. But like anything in life, you have to experience the lows to experience the highs. And yeah, that's my mantra of the day. Hope you all have an amazing day, whatever day this gets posted on. And I shall see you in the next one. I love you guys. You guys motivate me so much. Like I see you guys like slaying and I'm like, oh, like I'm going to slay too. Um, but yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and I shall see you in the next one. Bye guys.